What got me hooked on this setup was its compactness because I wanted to move as far away as quick as possible while maintaining the ability to record decent quality sound without any fancy professional recorders. Simply on my phone which is always with me. So yay. We threw away the box and there's this other presentable box. It opens pretty cool. Yes indeed. Tutorial. A paper clip. I'll explain later why it's classic just like the one provided with the iPhone. The transmitter itself is quite impressive to me because of its size. It has a clip that allows it to record on its own, that is to say, it has a built-in microphone or an external one can be plugged into it. In this case, I'm hooking up the lapel microphone on my loop. It's hanging on me right now, along with a USB Type-C that allows it to charge. I believe it's rated at 6 hours, but I don't know for sure, likelihood is it'll run shorter in the cold. There's a volume button and by pressing them both simultaneously it pairs up with the receiver, in this instance my phone. It's pretty cool looking, let's try to turn it on. A quick press we see that the battery is nearly full right out of the box. The adjustment is shown with LEDs, it's currently on mute. Now it's progressively getting louder, it's now at max volume. Alright, let's see what else is included in the kit. Here's a carrying bag, which is pretty cool by the way. I love storing all my gadgets in these. It helps prevent them from scratches and breakage. And here we have the actual microphone. The subject here is dual channel, that is, I'm currently recording on exactly the same blind 500 generic, exactly the same transmitter. You can hear the audio, uh, the receiver is in my phone and at the same time I can connect the same receiver to the phone. I'm honestly not sure if it starts working immediately or not, no, in my view basically if the gadget is interesting. I can separately film a video on how to pair it with the receiver. Soon you won't be able to hear me because I'll remove the receiver from the phone. And guys, this is the actual receiver itself. The receiver itself. So it has a lightning input, which means I specifically chose this one because I most often record on an iPhone. There's a similar receiver with a classic USB Type-C under a cold shoe, which you can attach to the camera. The actual antenna is everything. It's right here, as I understood from the manual. The pay button allows you to pair this transmitter with the receiver, which is powered on with this pin. Quite an interesting device. I made an interesting observation that when I unplugged it from the phone, the recording stopped. I'm not sure why, I'm currently writing a program with the Moment app. This probably wouldn't happen with a standard iPhone camera. I'm going to plug it back into the phone now. Right now the sound is coming from the iPhone recording. I'll now place the receiver back into the lightning port. The sound should immediately come from the lapel mic. Let's see, we've got connection. I noticed that my LED indicator lit up blue on the receiver. Now the sound is coming from the same lapel mic again which is attached to myself. Guys, thank you all for watching. If anyone is interested in how this system performs in practice, I can give you more details about it. Right now, it has convinced me due to its compact size. I plan to use it for a while, and then, if you're interested, I'll leave some real reviews about it. What are the pros and cons? If anyone has used this before, please let me know in the comments what I can expect from it. Thank you very much. I wouldn't mind it if you hit like.